BigTractorPower.com is following winter wheat seeding in the fall of 2016 here in western Kentucky. Today we're out in the field with a Challenger MT855B track tractor pulling a John Deere 1890 air drill that is 40 feet wide hooked up to a John Deere 1910 commodity cart. The Challenger MT855B is powered by a Caterpillar C15 engine that is 460 horsepower. The tractor is a track tractor and it really is a tough as nails tractor. These Challenger MT800 series tractors are always great to see in the field. They've got a smooth ride and do a big powerful job in whatever task they're doing. On the front of the tractor, the silver tanks are Chem Farm tanks manufactured in Evansville, Indiana, which is not far from where we're filming. These tanks are only used on the tractor in the spring to apply starter fertilizer with a Kinsey 36 row 20 inch planter that the tractor puts corn in. Today, the 1890 air drill is no-tilling winter wheat through corn stalks. The corn was harvested in August, and you can see the green plants are some volunteer corn that is coming back up. This field was harvested by a pair of Lexian combines equipped with 18 row 20 inch heads. The air drill uses air to convey the wheat from the 1910 commodity cart in the back through the tubes that we see here and then it, the air blows it down to the ground and as we can see the disc blades, press wheels and openers cutting through the corn stalks. Here we can see the 1910 commodity cart that is full of air. You can hear the humming. That's the compressor pushing the seed up through the drill. No-till farming was first practiced in Christian County, Kentucky back in 1962 by Harry Young. The Young farm is just down the road from where we are filming today. And that was the first successful no-till field anywhere in North America. It was a cornfield and later no-till soybeans came and now no-till wheat has become very popular following the corn crop here in Western Kentucky in the past 10 years. Winter wheat is drilled starting after October 10th each year here in Western Kentucky. It will be harvested in June of 2017 and then double crop soybeans will be no-tilled on this field following the wheat harvest. And this is the typical rotation in the region each year. Here we can see the Challenger MT-855 with those Chem Farm tanks and the drill putting the wheat in through the corn stalk. We hope that you've enjoyed this video of no-till wheat planting. If you'd like to see more videos of Big Farm Machines in action, visit our website, BigTractorPower.com to link to our YouTube channel directly, which has over 1,000 videos of farm machinery in action, and our Facebook page where we share pictures and history of farm equipment on a daily basis. Thank you for watching.